Okay, so I'm all coffeeed up and ready to go as we enter in the real um, meats and potatoes of, of R, and that's working with tables. Okay, so so straight off the bat, Control Shift N. Let's um, bring up a, a blank script and let's make a table. Okay, so in base R, there's a function called data.frame, but uh, we don't actually use this anymore. It's been replaced. Okay, and I'll tell you why in one second. Um, this is why R is becoming much better to learn at the moment is because of uh, the tidyverse. Okay, so we're loading up that package and that package allows us a variety of different functions. This, this tidyverse actually is a collection of different packages. Um, you can see them, see them here. Um, but the key thing is, is that uh, data frames, we're no longer using those. We're using something called a tibble. Now, I resisted picking up tibble eventually um, because I don't like the name. But uh, just I just say table, you know. So it's, yeah. Okay, so how do we make a tibble? So uh, a table is just a collection of vectors of equal length stacked next to each other, okay? So we could say, you know, uh, let's go, as, as you know, um, there are lots of silent objects, silent variables here. So what I've got here is the month names. Okay, so January through to December. Um, so we can say month, month names. So I've made an object that is just taking those names, those months. And let's get another object, uh, total sales. And let's use our, oops our uniform function. So we want uh, 12 items. Uh, the min, let's say that's uh, 10,000 10, and the max is going to be 50,000. Okay, so we've got, we've got the total sales for each month and let's just put them together. So just remember that these are being stacked against each other. So we, we didn't really care about order or anything like that. So what we can do here, we can go month names so that object and then just just put it against um, the total sales so if we do that there we go we've got a, a tibble okay um, I may as well quickly tell you why we don't use data frames anymore data dot frame so when I grab this exactly the same thing but as a data frame so the well, you can't really see it here. Uh, if this was a longer chart, it would just continue to print out every single row, which is really annoying. So we could do like a rep month names 20. Okay. Um, what's going to happen if I do this? Okay. So you see how it's just repeating the, the, the months of the year over and over again. And it's also repeating that vector of, of total sales is over and over again. Um, but you see, it's printing out the whole thing, you know, and that's often in data, you do get very long, long tables. You know, that's part of the reason why you are in R is because it can process longer tables than Excel can process. So for one, it's printed out everything. We don't like that. Um, the, the titles don't have, they look a bit funny. They've, they don't allow you to have spaces. So that's a bit annoying. And also I think if I go, uh, str, which is another, let's say this is y. If I go str, so it's also, um, in this case, it's done the right thing for us, but it, it assigns any string um, data type to be a factor, which if you've got a whole bunch of, let's say, people's names, they're not really factors. So in this case, it's, it's actually accurate because the months are factors, really. But, um, we, yeah, it's doing it by default. Another thing is when you print when you print it out, so f you also don't get any um, much information about it. But with a tibble, first of all, it limits it, so it makes a judgment call on whether to print out the whole thing or whether to um, print out only the head of the of the table. But it also tells you, you know, what data type is each thing, which is quite quite handy. Okay, so also. That's, so that's why we're going to be using tibbles. Notice as well, so I'm just going to overwrite the Y 
which was a data frame with a tipple, the tipple object. Um, notice also that the, t the headers of the columns have taken on the object names that we use to populate with data. But we can specify this, so we can just call it month, uh, month equals, and we can just go sales equals. So now we've got a simpler, simpler names to work with. Okay, so that is the very basics of, of tibbles and why we use them over base R's as data frames. Okay, let's do another video.